Ms. Tripoli. Hospitals have had a rough go of it post-COVID with workforce shortages, supply chain issues, and inflation. Do you have concerns about the increasing role of private equity ownership of community hospitals, particularly this type of purchase structure where a for-profit system purchases a community hospital with a separate firm purchasing land and bu buildings that it operates? I think absolutely. I think we have to be very skeptical of the role of private equity in mergers and acquisitions in the healthcare system in general. Their business model is just incompatible with ensuring the health and financial security of the American people, particularly at the community level. And what we see when private equity comes in, they're they're uh, trying to make their they're cutting costs, they're trying to increase prices. We see quality go down. We see hospital acquired infections go up. We see uh, increasing in falls. We see prices go up, um, and they're trying to look profitable for a resale in th three to five years. Um, and in some instances, as you've just pointed out, we actually see them closing the doors of those centers because the real estate underneath is much more profitable than the institution itself. So we have to be very, very critical and scrutinize. We need a lot more transparency around the role of private equity ownership in the healthcare system right now. That is a giant black box. And we need more data unveiled so that federal and state regulators can uh, have greater scrutiny over the role of private equity in healthcare. Thank you. I mean, when these hospitals are forced to close, like in San Antonio and now across Massachusetts, it's patients who suffer. Um, your testimony, Ms. Tripoli, urges our committee to continue to explore opportunities to improve transparency around the ownership interest of private equity and healthcare corporations. It seems um, doubtful that greater transparency rules alone could slow private equity's penetration of healthcare markets. Can you please elaborate on how we should be thinking about legislating beyond what was included in the House passed Lower Cost, More Transparency Act so that our healthcare system is fully meeting the needs of Americans? I think certainly in terms of the role of PE ownership, the piece about transparency uh, is really, really important. It's a critical first step. There, it is because of how often private equity buys and, and sells within the time period, oftentimes you see systems changing hands of ownership multiple times, and we don't have good insight into how often that is happening. And so that is why we actually need more transparency around the ownership, private equity ownership in healthcare, because that not only will uh, allow us to have a better sense of what the trends are happening in the market around mergers and acquisitions related to private equity. We can identify other types of anti-competitive uh, anti practices that are going on, and we can empower federal and state regulator regulators with important information to scrutinize the role of private, uh, private equity in healthcare mergers and acquisitions. 